guys. Wow, how are you? I was just reading my paper and I looked up and saw you. What a surprise. This is great. You know me, Nurse Ann. <sighs> Been a long time since I've seen you. Hmm. Gosh. You know, I remember one time when I was at school and I think I was walking up the hall with one of the kids and he said to me, he said, Nurse Ann, where do you go after school? Do you live in your office? I said, no, I don't live in my office. I have a house just like you. And here I am sitting in my house just like you. Today I'm wearing just regular old clothes, but let me show you. Let me show you. I keep my nurse and clothes in my closet. Every morning when I wake up and brush my teeth, wash my face, I come to my closet and pick out what I'm gonna wear to school that day. So let me show you. Let me show you my assortment of nurse and clothes. There they are. Ah, look at that. Do you remember that one? Charlie Brown. Oh, there's my Buckeye shirt. Oh, and there's my little Batman outfit. Yep, this is where I come every day and choose what to wear. Isn't that funny? So, what are we going to talk about today? Should I just talk about nurse and stuff? We're all home. And everybody, everybody's at home right now. And the big reason, remember how I told you that germs are invisible, but they're really powerful and they can make you sick and that we got to be germ busters? Well, one of those real powerful germs snuck up on us. And if we stay home and stay away from crowded places, we can help be germ busters against that germ. So when the germ starts to get weak and starts to go away, we'll all be back to our normal going to school, going to the stores, going to the playgrounds. But for right now, our job is to be the best germ busters we can. So what kind of things am I always telling you about being germ busters? Hmm. Ah, oh, I know one. Cough catchers. Remember that? Uh, uh, <coughs> cough catcher right there in my elbow. Oh yeah, it can also be a sneeze catcher. Uh, 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 <gasps> sneeze catcher, I didn't get any germs around. How about if my nose is running? Do I want to go like this? No. Do I want to pick it? No. Do I want to wipe it? No, what do I want to do? You guys remember? Get a tissue. Get a tissue and wipe my nose. <clears throat> Blow it. And throw the tissue away. Bing. Okay, what's another one? Um, <gasps> hand washing. I forgot about hand washing. Let's review it, guys. I'll go into my own bathroom and sh wash my own hands, okay? Okay. Now, I got to set up my little camera so it doesn't fall over. Okay, so hand washing. Hmm, what's the first thing we got to do? We got to get them wet. So, let's turn on the water and get our hands all wet. Then... Remember, one big squirt of soap. And then we stop. Oh, do you hear that noise? It's my water. I forgot to tell you. When we turn on the water to wet our hands, we don't need to keep it on. We can turn it off while we're scrubbing and scrubbing. 20 seconds, one, two, in between, in between. On the tops, on the tops, on the insides, on the insides, back and forth. Look at all those bubbles I'm making. Look at all those bubbles. Those germs are crying. No, no, don't. 
don't wash us away. We can even go down here on our wrists a little bit. That's always good too. But we got to get in between and on top of every surface. Feels kind of good. It's soft and slippery. Okay, I'm all done. Now, I got to turn on the water again. And rinse them all clean. Ah, clean hands. Now, at school, we have paper towels. But I don't have paper towels in my own bathroom. But I do have a towel, probably like you do at home. So, I got to get the towel and dry off all the water. And that means if any little sneaky germs were left over, I dried them off. 